All right, everybody, we have construction going on here at the Tortoise Bends. And where are we? Well, we're at Tortoise Land, of course. Hey, everybody, it's Kevin, Tortoise Guy. So today I want to talk about proper construction of pens and stuff for your tortoises. Okay, this is David. How are you, everybody? Hey, so David's been my guy. Uh, we've been learning together over 15 years of doing this, uh, how to build these pens, right? Yeah. So first thing, um, we built these pens a few years ago. We're using non-toxic paint that's gonna protect the pens from weather. And uh, Dave, go ahead and just do your thing, man. All right, so, you know, housing your tortoises is really important. I don't have a big piece of land here in Los Angeles, so I do the best I can to house the tortoises, right? Several different species here, um, and I need to accommodate them all, you know, to the best of my ability. Remember, tortoise land is not a zoo. I don't just take tortoises in and in and, you know, build up this huge amount of tortoises. My job, I feel through the organization I'm a member of, California Turtle and Tortoise Club, and just on my own is, is to help tortoises. They come to me through different ways. I try to get them healthy and live healthy and thrive and then find homes for them, you know, okay? So this place, it's real important that it houses them well, right? So look at this. So this is uh, one of the two big pens, oops, outdoors here, okay? And uh, we're completely uh, re, renovating the place so this is pen number one all right and what's really cool about it is you can see the sun can come tortoises love the sun they need the sun rocky what do you think about it all pretty cool right yeah uh-huh so they need the sun to thrive right so this is chicken wire and they get the afternoon sun or the morning sun depending on the time of year okay and in here I give this closed off area, that orange pad, those are heating pads. That's a waterproof heating pad um, that I can control the temperature of. And they're available through a company called Osborne Industries. You can just Google Osborne Industries. Pig blankets, animal pads. All right, I love them, swear by them. They're durable, they last forever, they're washable. So on this pen, okay, we got chicken wire here, which is really important to protect your guys from you know, from rodents, from all kinds of creatures, right? We got a nice handles here that are heavy. Whoa, almost had an accident, right? Yo, so uh, they're heavy, so a raccoon or something can't get in. You'll be surprised how many creatures would like to get into your pens and do harm to your tortoises, right? Okay, also the wire needs to be small enough so the rats and mice can't get through. So this pen, is right now housing a lot more tortoises because I'm working on the other pen. So there's way more tortoises in here than there would be, right? So what's key though, they have a separate area for the water that I have sectioned off here, put gravel under here, and drill holes underneath here, okay? That is so the water can drain out of here as the tortoises come and go. So you want to put water in daily, the gravel helps uh, you know, absorb the water, prevents it from going underneath the tray here. And um, these guys, um, yeah, look at very active back there. So there's their, their cave area. They all need a place to hide, right? And uh, you got to give them shelter. You got to give them a place to hide even within the pen. Ideally, the pen is shelter. So rain and the elements are not gonna get it. And because it has heat pads, this works great all year round, okay? So this other pen here, this is the one we just finished renovating. I have this one here built. This is for the juveniles, okay? I call this my juvie pen, okay? So my little guys are in here. Look at this little one. This is Jimmy the Greek. A beautiful Greek tortoise born right here in tortoise land about two and a half months ago, right? So the little guys, when they're real little, they get, they get taken care of inside the house. And that's a whole nother video that I'll show you, okay? So when they get uh, big enough though, I can take them out here, right? And uh, again, there's a heating pad. Now it, it would look much nicer. I just literally, we finished renovating it. So you got the heat pads here. I even have a heat lamp up there as a backup. 
And then we cover this with different substances. This stuff is called Coop Clean for chickens and all kinds of stuff. It's uh, it's hay basically, shredded, right? The tortoises are good with hay, they eat hay. So what I do, again, holes are drilled, okay? Drill holes through your pen so that it can drain, you know? You wanna wash it out. Remember, these are washable, these are waterproof. I can spray a hose in here. So I can put this stuff on and, and when I wanna clean it thoroughly, I can take all this out. I can get a hose in here, it'll drip down. Always unplug your heaters and stuff when you're gonna do that, okay? And then, once again, these guys can come out here and get the sun when they want, okay? So here's the big pen. So for the big guys, Max, my 105 pound beast, and all them, I built them a dog house here, right? So I have my top pen, which is built, again, nice heavy doors, right, like this. And so that's why the other pen's so crowded with tortoises, because they're all over there right now. So you see this, all these nice holes drilled, to drain it when I want to wash it. So I got two cave areas. I got that one and I got that one, okay? And again, holes drilled all the way through. And something I learned a lot of years ago, I was having trouble keeping it clean, right? Because I had a water dish inside here, right? Inside the pen. I used to put the water dish here. Well, that just makes a mess. Tortoises go in it, come out of it, water everywhere, water goes all over your you know, coop clean, your shredded hay. I also use Timothy hay. And you can get that stuff much less expensive at places like if your town or city or whatever has an equestrian center, there'll be stores there. You can look up uh, stores for horses, horse feed, that sort of thing. Because I buy the Timothy hay by the flat. It's only like seven bucks for big bags. So I line them with the shredded hay, with the, with the Timothy hay. And uh, okay, here's a key thing. So I built a whole section area here. Actually, David built it, right? But this area is for the water dish, water dish. See this? Because this way it's separate from their area where they sleep and eat and all that. And I put the dish right here and holes drilled once again. So this has worked out really well. So they can go in this area with the big round dish in there you know and they can soak in the water tortoises like to soak in the water they need fresh water right so they'll come in here and sit and enjoy okay so this is a different section for that right so down here really really cool this is for my bigger guys right right rocky for the bigger guys the african sulcatas and desert tortoises or you know whatever kind you have that grow big right they get this area okay and those are heat pads too, okay? And, uh, and doors that close and lock that I can put down and lock like that, right? And why? Raccoons, possums, all kinds of creatures, right Rocky? Rocky's always on guard in the yard because he hears squirrels, even squirrels and stuff wanna, you know, might wanna go in there and do dar damage to your animals. So you wanna make sure everything is closable and protect those guys. And you'll be amazed. My guys at four o'clock in the afternoon, for instance, they know the sun's going down and they will march from the other side of the house, you know, to their pens, right? To, to the down here, the dog house, all right? Now this is all great. Take a look. Hey, little guy. That's a, about a nine month old African sulcata. Huh? That'll get as big as Max in about 15 years, right? And uh, so, that's the, for me, the ideal way to do this, all right? It works great, they're outdoors, they get the sun. If I have to work 12 hours elsewhere, I don't have to worry about them. Now, ideally though, you don't keep them in the pens, right? When you have a couple hours off at, from home from school or work or whatever, I get my guys out, you know? You wanna get them out, nothing is gonna replace the healthiness of being out in the direct sun, get them out on the grass that hasn't been treated chemically and get them eating the grass, grow hibiscus trees here, right? Hibiscus trees. So tortoises love the flowers. They love the leaves, you know? So I love to grow, uh, you know, like hibiscus and stuff and I can just take them and pop them in there. And those guys are really gonna dig it. 
you know? Okay, so I also have an area back here. This is all on the construction, reconstruction. This area I have outside delineates smaller tortoises from those big guys that are usually not in there. That's Max and that's Lumpy doing what they do, right? There's my California desert dude. There's Scout. Hey, pal. Anyways, this is a whole section, a whole different area built. So I can, when I'm home, I can be out here. I can take the little guys out and keep an eye on them. So that's what we got going on with the pens. So you can always ask me questions. The tortoiseguy.com, the, our internet website is going to be online by October 15th. YouTube channel, The Tortoise Guy, will be new episodes October 15th. So hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. You can go on YouTube right now and see a little promo for what's coming. It's all about how to take care of these wonderful, beautiful creatures, how we can do our part to someday, we hope, raise money and get a sanctuary outside of Los Angeles. So these guys can have proper big pieces of land, big pens, um, and really, you know, have the life that they all deserve, you know? So they have a good life here. They're all crammed in there. So don't take that as what the way it is here. And uh, build yourself an awesome home for these guys. And I've had a lot of babies here, even though I don't do that, I'm not a breeder, but they are thriving here. And that's one way you can tell because, you know, having babies means they're doing well, right? So have a great day. More tips on care and feeding of your beloved tortoises to come. Take care.